Jojo has fun. <clears throat> what is up, party people, and welcome to Jojo has fun, where we are playing Spirit Fair. We're a comedy let's play, which means that you came to us for one reason only, to see how a game could be played so incorrectly that it produces goofs as a byproduct. I'm Jojo, and with me today are two other people. Say your names, other people. I'm Kim. <laughs> Excellent. And Jeff, what's your name? Well, you ruined it. You said I'm Jeff. I <laughs> uh, see. You know, let me let me. Tu- I'm gonna turn off the jokes real quick. See what you could have done is you could have said literally anything when I said, "Hey, Jeff, what's your name?" You ruined it because I was gonna introduce myself. You could have said your name was Flamp. Yeah, yeah, no, but I I want to be real with the audience. I want them to know me as a person, but now they just know me as the guy <laughs> who was introduced. Nobody wants to know you as a person, Jeff. Kim, I guess Jeff's the real one on this episode. <laughs> okay, we can turn jokes back on. It's 2021. Right. I'm just trying to keep it real. Okay. okay? All right, so this is a game. Yeah. Kim, give us a background as to uh, this game and how it entered your life, because I take credit for all of Tell that. Tell us all your many histories with it. So this, is an any, this is a full any percent run of Spirit Fair, correct? <laughs> what? This Just is a say, full any percent run yep. of Spirit Fair. Yeah, okay. I've, I've been, I haven't learned all the controls yet, but I'm doing pretty well. There's only like 12 controls, but for some reason, that's a little too much. <laughs> there's, there's 12, and they're literally in front of you right this now. This is all the controls the game has, Kim. <laughs> and also, Kim, you've played this for like two and a half hours. Yep. <laughs> you guys got anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, wow, that's a shit ass and answer, I guess, no. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's do it. Let's do some spirit fairing. So what, what is this game? What happens in it? You are this person who I think is named Stella. I can't remember how to do anything. Uh, and then there, there's a smoking deer who is like your aunt or something. And also the deer is smoking. Like Oh, yeah. She's smoking. smoking uh, now I can't hot. remember that. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was cool. You know what, IGN? If you need someone to write your guides. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then uh, you. Oh, so. Okay. Scene opens on death the guy with the sickle is okay. like leaving and he's telling you like you're gonna be the new death he, you have to go get a boat i'm not gonna give you my boat for some reason and then he like just goes off um and then you uh become death but i haven't actually gotten that far yet i'm still building my boat ah excellent i love yeah. that i love yeah. the idea that death is like a small cottage industry of boat owners no, no, Kim, you just bought those shoes. Oh, I don't want to buy those shoes. Oh, I'm what? buying. Whoops. Whoops, get wait, out of there. So wait, the, the, the title of that page of your inventory is Tchotchke? That's how, that's how it's spelled? Yeah, like a Tchotchke. That's, uh, that's amazing. I've never seen it spelled out. I've only yeah, ever heard it. Yeah, it's why like I can never spell it here. I'm going to buy those boots back. You mean sell or them back. Sell them buy back. them back would imply <laughs> you, you bought them, sold them, and then we're like, ah, oh, on second thought. Hey, I've done that. Being good at business is not a requirement to become death, destroyer of worlds. So uh, what's what's our goal right now? Right Kim? now, what's, I think, hold on. <laughs> it, it's I, to learn the controls. That's no, the, <laughs> the, I mean, I'm just, you can find out what your goals are really easily. It's tab. It's tab, Kim. It's tab. <laughs> <laughs> That's a soda. It's delicious. Uh, right now, I'm trying to build a garden, just like okay, what I said. Okay, let's build a garden. What's it take to build a garden? I need... Don't you have a garden? Oh, is that, that looks that's like a, field. a garden right there, Kim? I what know is that? I have a field, you dingus. I need a garden. Oh, now you can build it. It takes oh. ten logs and five lightning. Okay, yeah, I had to. The last thing I did was, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna build. It doesn't fit anywhere right now, so we're gonna put it maybe over here. Nope. No, you here, gotta you gotta here. go straight smack dab the, in what the about middle. Up. Yeah, yeah I think you, you have I, to. No, I can't. It's only in this little. What about Kim? It was just green for a second. Yeah, you gotta work within this 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 square area that it's giving you. Kim, there's okay. literally only like See, th- six places it could go, and you're avoiding all of them. <laughs> yeah, I, li- I like that because it has a little stilt. Yeah. Yep. There you go. You're welcome. It's like a fireman's pole. There we go. You okay. know that? That's where that's where I want my garden at. Is 50 feet above the ground. Is that a harp seal? Or a, uh, I don't know. I thought it was a blanket. No, it's like it's, a s- snaky thing. Cool. There's a frog boy. I like that. Oh yeah, he's my uncle. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't do a good job of explaining this game. Yeah, it sounds like everyone is your uncle. One of his hands is a circle. He's a snake, <laughs> obviously. I mean, when you're a snake, you don't have hands. You have to make do. So you have the end of you, and you have the middle part, and you have to make hands out of it somehow. All right, so now what, Kim? Now. 
could use that green thumb of yours. I'm going to plant some mother fudging seeds. Yeah, plant that seed, Kim. Like what? What's that seed going to be? I don't know. It's an odd seed. Ooh, this is a carrot, carrot seed. One more. What's, what's, what's this other one? Don't, don't do a tur- oh, turnip. Yeah. Ugh. Turnip right. for what? Uh, <laughs> oh, God damn it. I was trying to talk to her, but I'm in a building and she's outside. I thought it was your uncle. No, that's this is my aunt. Which one was your uncle? Or no, no, no. This is like a teacher that I had when I was growing up. Kim, who are these <laughs> people? <laughs> Kim, and also, when this snake told you that it was a teacher you had growing up, did I'm you just your uncle? Did Ooh. you just believe it without questioning? Yeah, I, no, I, I mean, I could tell. You know how you can sometimes you can just tell. <laughs> it's hey, me, your great everyone, great aunt. This, look at look at my new chinchilla. This this was my shop teacher. Sounds right. Oh no, Mr. Plaza's still alive. He wouldn't turn. This platypus me. is my accountant. I haven't been reading. I've just been clicking the button. Yeah, that's why you don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> or what the buttons is. <laughs> oh wait, what? Hold R to play guitar. I didn't know I could play guitar. How did that happen? No, it's not letting me. It goes to inventory. Are you sure you're hitting R? Yes, I'm sure I'm hitting R. Look, R is inventory. It's also confirm. Well, who decided that? I don't know, Kim. It seems like maybe you did. No. Well, no I <laughs> Do you have, have a guitar in your inventory? I don't. Okay, so now I don't know what my next thing is. Kim, tab. Now <laughs> I have to play music. Oh, so you have to do it in the garden. Maybe you can only play in the garden. I was just in the garden, and it was like... Well, but, <laughs> but Kim, you didn't play there. You just looked at your menu and dicked around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in, get on up in there, okay. and play yeah. some play some guitar for these these so plant boys. So I guess I'll boys. hit R, and nothing happens. All right, all right. M- m- move move to the right more. Maybe maybe you have to be more righter. Hold okay. R right hold there. Hold R. Oh, it's hold. I oh was... oh it's oh oh it's uh, Guitar what? Hero. A S ask ass ass. A A A. God, I, we're so good at guitar. Jack, you don't need to read the letters. I Everyone think we on, who's watching this can see them. Now it's wass. Wow. It was asked for a long time, though. Oh, hey. Oh, Kim. No. Oh, oh Kim. No. So uh, yeah, this is this is a jazz rendition. It's about all the buttons she doesn't press. I hope it I'm sounds good to you, Kim, because I can't hear any out. of the music. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. I think you could stop at any time, probably. No, I have to go forever. <laughs> or you have to stop failing miserably. Okay, wait. How do I stop? I did not get you a, subscri- a subscription to Guitar World for you to fuck up this hard, Kim. Oh my God, I feel like I could breathe. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Talk to our boy. Well, you're, you finish your request. What's next? Yeah, let's look oh, at. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Ass. Okay, here for I go. Eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> this is this the content you crave? So, guys, Ass. tell me some news. Tell me, tell me the good news. Um. <laughs> My man Jesu died. Who? Yeah, Jesu. You know, you you've heard of him. He died, but in three days he he'll be back for oh. the inauguration. Oh, stop it! No, it's true. He's gonna come back. He told. He swore to me. He was like, "I'll be back." Like like uh like Terminator. He left a note on the fridge. It's like, "Be back in three days." I love. And then you. He, and then he, and then instead of a thumbs up, he does a little plus sign. Which also doubles as a cross, which is kind of odd and ironic since that's... Yeah. Wait, would he know what... Would, would he attribute that to himself at that point? <laughs> like he'd see a cross <laughs> and be like, this is all me? Well, he's been dead a while. <laughs> Do you think he signed his name with a cross? Do you think he gets dividends from that? Does he get... Is he good financially? Like every like like every cross, <laughs> JC gets to, gets to wet his beak. Like every time that it's like it's like every time someone watches an episode of Friends, um, Courtney Cox gets like five dollars, and every time someone buys like a cross necklace, Jesus gets like five dollars. Every month, Jesus gets this massive residual check <laughs> for only like thirty-two years of work. Yeah, really. You know what? It's like he won the lottery. Yeah, Shirley Jackson's the lottery. Oh, hold on, something just went off. Oh. Baby detection detected. <laughs> oh, oh God, they're outside. <laughs> they're cut, they're getting, they're breaking through the barricades. Oh Jesus, Kim, we better set up those pulse rifles. They're gonna overrun our position before Bishop can get here and take no. us back up to the ship. He's done. He's he's good. We're good. Why isn't okay. there a tower defense game where you have to hold off against an army of babies trying to ruin your good time making videos with your friends? That's my life. <laughs> Why would I want to play a game of my life? <laughs> 
Wait, she told me something, but I wasn't listening. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of incredible how you keep managing to pull that one off. Um, what are your tasks? You kind of just highlighted them. I don't have any them, tasks then... right now, except that I need I need supplies. There were there were Kim. There were Kim. three tasks right no, there. But, yeah, but they're like to make things, and I don't have the supplies for them. So I'm what's gonna that, go get what's some. What's that? What's that fish head? What is that? On I think the map? it's just a fish. Don't worry about it. Kim, I'm sorry. You saying that makes me very suspicious. <laughs> like you know what it is, and you don't want me to find out. Kim, what's all this blood on the ground? Don't worry about this. <laughs> no, that you don't worry about that. No, hold on. The game is changing. There's a thing that's happening right now. What's happening right now? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's not happening right now, but it's happening pretty soon. Kim, are you okay? Here we go. Oh no! Oh nuts! Oh nuts! Get me out of here! I need to get. Uh, I need to get out there. Kim, you seem to have entered some sort of Ghostbuster situation. Oh no! Kim. Yes. Uh, are Are you afraid of ghosts? No, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I would say I have heard Kim say on on many occasions, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I've also heard her say busting makes her feel good, but. I didn't know if that was for ghosts yeah. or like. Oh my God, stop talking to me. I'm trying to catch jellyfish. You did good. Now we got a real boat going. I think oh, you need no, more. I, I think you need more um, accommodations. Yeah, she wants another guest house. Oh no, why? Well, Kim, you forced her to be out here facing her fears and that's not cool. <laughs> Kim, you are ruining this friendship with this extremely attractive deer <laughs> that smokes. Ah! Oh no, oh no. Don't date a deer that smokes, Jeff. The hunters will see it easily. And she won't be able to run from the hunters also. Okay. That's, uh, when the hunters are like smelling the leaves in the ground, they're just looking for that smell of nicotine. They're like... This reminds me of my grandmother's purse. That was a really important one, and it's gone. <laughs> Kim, I don't think you got any of the things that you actually needed to get. Oh, there's a green. There's, there's a, a green. green. Is there's that the green one you need? The green? Here it comes. Are we you. inside? Are we inside the body right now? This looks like the powerhouse of the cell that we're going through. As you Where can you? see, these mitochondria <laughs> are fucking jacked and loaded with treasure. Okay, here we go. Kim, it's way up there. It's oh, I gone. Missed it. It's, <laughs> Come Kim, back! It's all, oh no! <laughs> Jesus, God in heaven! <laughs> Why are you so high? We ask you the same thing sometimes, Kim. Well, because my life is bad. Well, all right. Maybe its life is bad. It's just kind of flying through the air, getting picked oh, here's up one. by a here's fucking one. I'm gonna ten get year it. old. I'm gonna get it. No, nope. nope, missed it. Kim, nope. I'm, oh, oh Kim, how did you not get that? <laughs> how could you have possibly fucked that up so bad? <laughs> you put that deer through all this trauma so you could completely fail at this mission. Now, Kim, you you literally all you have to do is stand still, and they just <laughs> come to you. It. All right, yep. now we can go somewhere else. Don't talk to me, Stella. Build some guest quarters. They need some more. They They're, have guest quarters. Maybe they will. Well, Kim, I'm sorry, but maybe four people living in like a <laughs> studio is fucking okay in New York City, but not on your boat. Yeah, this is a boat to the afterlife, not a fucking flat in San Francisco. Come on. These kids are paying $1,200 a month <laughs> each. Not all of them can work for PayPal or fucking whatever. Some of them have to work at the corner market. Some of them have to work at the CBS. People got to buy condoms and nicotine patches. Yeah, look at she's specifically saying, please make another guest house. And then Kim, five minutes later, is just like, I didn't read any of that. I don't know what she was saying. <laughs> I assume. She, oh, you have a new a blueprint for Gwen's Lodge. Yeah. For huh, Gwen. Which I wouldn't have had had I not ignored her all that time. Kim, are you, did you just did you just try to sick burn us? The fact that you weren't paying attention, which good for you yeah. is what you're trying to say. Yeah. OK, well, you, sh you showed us. Um, you guys, I got a problem. What's that? Uh, you want to know what you can do to fix it? what move your field over to the left a bunch yeah remember we ha we kim we promised each other you could edit things <laughs> yeah kim we're on this journey together and you while you're not paying attention we definitely are see hey and now you i might pay attention you you big jerk oh god damn it now i'm missing this thing oh she got me she got me good joe <laughs> she, she, she got me a big jerk why can't i move this thing i don't know kim i'm not the game That's right. <laughs> i wasn't sure exactly where i wanted it if I wanted it all the way over or almost all the way over. I love <laughs> it. Well, Kim, with those two options, I can see why it's so hard to pick. <laughs> Dang it. She I loves mean, it. Hey. Oh, it's outstanding. It does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't remind me of my old place. Thank you, old friend. So she gets her oh, own sweet two- friends. Darn it. She gets her little two-story place. We're not That's fucking tight. her. She's like related to us. Kim, she's a deer now. It's fine. Hug her. She's doing great. She was recently hugged. She has a nice house, and she shopped at Raccoon. She's as happy as can be. 
Let's look at some other people, see what kind of needs they have. You, Frogman. Oh, you are unhappy. Oh, yeah, because you're Tim. hungry. You's, you've ignored your Uncle Frog for quite a while. Yeah, Uncle Frog is hungies. At, look at him. He's got that big... Oh, he just ate something. What did he just eat? Raspberries. For him, a raspberry looks like oh. a delicious cheeseburger from Mr. Beast. It's like it's to oh, the right no, of the court's head. That's Francis. He sells shit. Let's just Someone's go phone went off. Whatever. I know because I heard the buzzing. What? Someone's phone went off. I yeah, heard the buzzing. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the baby detector again. Just Look out the window. They're getting closer. <laughs> they travel in packs. Right? They've been testing the uh, perimeter. They know that the fence is electrified, so they're looking they never, for weaknesses they never, in it. They never attack the same spot twice. They remember. <laughs> and, then the, and then the cow thing comes up. And then Hammond's like, who's hungry? Okay, I need a Listen, sawmill. Kim, you've got plants in this field that are poisonous. You picked them because they looked good. What? I'm just going to start throwing in quotes of Jurassic Park. Oh. Man and baby separated by 75 million years. I brought you over here to defend me from these people, and the only one on my side is the blood-sucking Why lawyer. Why are you quoting Jurassic Park? What is even happening right now? Kim, are you not a fan of Jurassic Park? The J Park, as we call it. Yeah, the JP. Look, it's not that I'm not a fan. I'm just confused as to why you guys are such fans. Oh no, you you ran afoul uh, oh, no, of something. No, I'm not going through some trash. There's no, like a, there's like a Loch Ness or something. Oh, and so you decide now's a good time to start fishing, huh? Yeah, let's just let's just see if we can catch this Loch Ness. No one else has. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> What'd you get, Kim? You got a message in a bottle. Well, Kim, maybe you should go to the exhibition. You gotta rub point. it the right way. You shut your mouth. It'll hold it down as long as you can or something. Nelico. There we go. Oh, oh. god damn, Kim, you killed him. He's dead. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Double jump. <laughs> oh, I can improve things. No thanks. Kim, have you heard of the charitable organization PIP? P H I P? You mean FIP? No. I mean no. Pip? No, I have not. Stands for Parrot Heads in Paradise. It's a charitable it's an organization, organization that will engage in activities that are charitable, educational, and promote the general welfare of the community. Wait, is but is it about? It's, it it's is a Jimmy Buffett. It, thing? it is a purpose is to assist community environmental concerns and provide a variety of social activities for people who are interested in the music of Jimmy Buffett and the tropical lifestyle he personifies. Huh? Hell yeah! Kim, we're gonna make the world a better place on Island Time. How about Parrot that? Cheeseburger in paradise. In paradise. Oh, well, oh, I can't I get wanna... that better, apparently. I can't get wanna... that better. What can I make better? Nothing, Kim. Nothing. You poison Kim, everything you life touch. Life is just, it's an absolute. I could nightmare. add lights, and they'd like that. What's, wait, Kim, what's under shenanigans? Complete, Complete your, your first, first That doesn't errand. sound like much of a shenanigan. Yeah. That just that's... sounds like a task. Yeah. But now's the time for shenanigans. And by that, I mean real shenanigans. Going behind a 7-Eleven and breaking a bottle. You know. Shenanigans. Get some whipped cream and put it in your friend's hand when they're sleeping. And then tickle oh, their nose. Oh, and then tickle their nose. Yeah, it's a great, that's that's a great shenanigans. shenanigans. That's and a then, great shenanigans. And then, and, then when they, and then when they slap their face, they're covered with shaving cream. That's when you, that's when you suffocate them with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's classic. How did you guys slumber party? <laughs> There's a there's this random picture on Jimmy Buffett's Twitter oh, hey. from, from January seventeenth, and it's it's him with a parrot. Yeah. A track. But I don't. But the parrot's not like the focal point. It's just there. Ooh, a bunch of random shit. Do you think? Wondering if Jimmy Buffett always has to be pictured with a parrot, or if if it's just a thing where no matter where he's at, parrots flock, they flock to him, to like him. like yeah. oh, kind of like um, um, kind of like Snow White. Yeah, with all the birds that every, fly every and day, land on Every day, Jimmy Buffett throws his window open, and a thousand <laughs> parrots come in and dress up in the Hawaiian it's shirts. It's a curse, really. Point. <laughs> Listen, the monkey's paw that he had to sacrifice his soul to had only a few requests. Try, tried to amend my carnivorous habit, made it nearly 70 days. Losing weight without speed, eating sunflower seeds, drinking a lot of carrot juice, and soaking up rays. Cheeseburger in paradise. Doing, doing. Heaven, heaven on earth with an onion slice. Oh, yeah. Not too particular. Not too precise. But go to the part where he breaks it down in a wrap. Okay. Uh, is it actually a cheeseburger or is it supposed to signify something else? No, it's a it's, cheeseburger. It's just a straight up cheeseburger. I'm going to just read to you a, a verse and you tell me if this is about sex. I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57, and French fried potatoes. I like mine with lettuce and tomato, 
Heinz 57 and fresh fried potato. Yeah, we all know that. Hold on. <laughs> Big kosher pickle and a cold draft beer. Well, good God almighty, which way do I steer for my cheeseburger in paradise? I mean, I'm making, hard as a rock, so I'm assuming it's the best sex. of every virtue and vice worth every damn bit of sacrifice to mm. get a cheeseburger in paradise. Daggum, this guy really wants a cheeseburger. Dude, yeah. he makes me really want a cheeseburger. I want a cheeseburger right now. When I was a kid, uh, I went to Hawaii one time, and <laughs> I ate at Cheeseburger in Paradise. Really? Did you have a cheeseburger? I did. What else do you serve at Cheeseburger in Paradise to still keep <laughs> Fucking it? Fucking chicken fingers? I, I don't guess. Know. Yeah, I mean, fries, cheeseburger, Heinz 57. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that my friend played when I was like uh, maybe a freshman or a sophomore in high school? A friend of mine's uh, father passed away, and he played cheeseburger at Par- in paradise at his dad's funeral. So, so listen, I- I've got some news, everybody. Cheeseburger in paradise bar and grill. Ooh! All restaurant locations are permanently closed. Oh no! Except for the one in Hawaii <laughs> that I went to. That's where you went. That's where I'd want it. Because that's paradise. They have to keep that one there or the that song goes away. That probably is why they closed them all. Because they, they had one in Ohio and they were like, this doesn't matter. This, this, doesn't, this is not. This hey, bitch. we have a cheeseburger in paradise in Juneau, Alaska. And I'm sure some people think this is paradise, but not the parrot heads who live here. According to the lyrics found on the vinyl sleeve, Buffett sings cheeseburger is paradise twice throughout the song. It's what? unclear whether he is actually saying in or is, but Cheeseburger is Paradise can clearly be heard during live oh, performances. No. We, I think Jimmy needs to take a look at Cheeseburger in Paradise because there's a review of it from one week ago that says Uh-oh. tasteless burgers. Jimmy Buffett would not approve. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much would it fucking suck that everyone has to like incite Jimmy Buffett's name? They call they, they <laughs> Yes, they call it's like they call his name like saying amen at the end of prayer. Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett wouldn't care about this. I'm going to type in the following phrase into Google. Well, because I, I, I think it's just because I'm watching Kim have fun on the ocean and stuff. And it's, God, it's it's put me, it's put me in a nice oceanside mood. I'm going to type in the philosophy of Jimmy Buffett. And I'm going to just see if Google has something for that. You, you guys ready? That they do. Yeah. I want to know what the cult's, oh, God damn what the cult's like. Well, philosophy. they wear parrots on their heads. Yeah, we got that. Of Jimmy I got a paperback book. Okay. Uh, Ten bucks on Kindle. <sighs> and it is a picture of a margarita. <laughs> and it says Jimmy Buffett and philosophy, the porpoise driven life. <laughs> why is, wait, why, wait, why is it porpoise? That's. That's, that's the that's the thing that swims. Yeah, I'm aware it's a thing it's that like, swims. It's like a dolphin, but fat. But does he cite porpoises in any of his songs? And she is, is it I part of cheeseburger? I think it's just something in the ocean. Okay, so it's just a it's a it's a wordplay. It's just a pun. I'm gonna type in Jimmy Buffett porpoise. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out some deep. He killed a porpoise <laughs> once. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's why they close all the restaurants. It was cancel culture. Uh, it's called accountability culture. Thanks. That's true. Um, it doesn't look like there is anything related to porpoises in any of Jimmy Buffett's oeuvre. So he had the he had Google scrubbed with all of his money to get rid of the porpoise information. All this hey, cheeseburger listen, listen. money. <laughs> Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. <laughs> all those tourists covered with oil strumming my six string on my front porch swing. Smell those shrimp. They're beginning to boil. Get, where are we right now, Cam? I, I this is this is oh. like it, it's like when they say don't go shopping hungry. Don't write a song. Don't hungry. write a don't write a song when you need to go to fucking Chili's at the beach. Like <laughs> living on sponge cake. Why, Jimmy? Why are all your songs food related? Okay, I, no, hold on. This actually speaks to me. Oh wait, hold blew on. out my flip flop, stepped on a pop top, that cut has my heel. That has happened to me specifically. Had to cruise on back home. I went to Target. Uh, but and I got I got another slipper. Um, I, I can't but there, remember how to. Okay, cool. But there's booze in the blender, and soon it will render the frozen concoction that helps me hang on. I cannot remember how I'm supposed to down, get this down down S down. You got to down dive, push down and hit space. That space is not S. Or no, down is S though, Kim. Oh. <laughs> Kim, I'm nowhere near you, and I can tell exactly what you're doing wrong. You're a monster. <laughs> 
Kim, if I wasn't on the live stream when you did this, how far do you think you would have gotten? Well, I knew that those were the moves the last time I played, so I probably would have figured it out. I think, oh God, Jojo read too far into Jimmy Buffett, and now uh, he's, <laughs> he's gone. They, they I just, cut his I just internet. Found, okay, <laughs> how about this? How about this? This is this is a pretty solid set of lyrics. I just bought a water bed. It's filled up for me and you. They say you are a snuff queen, honey. I don't think that's true. What? Snuff queen, like snuff films. Well, Jeff, before you freak out, let me read the next line. So why don't we get drunk and screw? Yeah, now, baby, I say, Lord, why don't we get drunk and screw? What? The song is called Why Don't We Get Drunk. The Urban Dictionary says Snuff Queen is, oh, according to, to Jimmy there. Buffett, oh, balls. Uh, it's an old term for a prostitute. Whoa. Wait, what is? Snuff Queen is an old term for a prostitute. Oh. According to Urban Dictionary. Well, I, I trust Urban Dictionary. But however, I'm not sure if that's true because it only cites the Jimmy Buffett song as reference. Oh. <laughs> maybe he just made that shit up. Yeah, maybe he's the reason that it's coined as the term. For, it's like when they say it's an old term for prostitute, they mean it's a term that Jimmy Buffett made up for prostitutes. Oh, I forgot. She can't eat the same thing twice, and I've already fed her that stuff. Ugh. Kim, you got to keep everyone happy. I know. I definitely want to keep her happy. Dude, Kim, can frog, you, leave me alone. Can you, uh, he's that kind of uncle. Can you cook eggs in this, Kim? Are there eggies? Uh, not yet. But can we get chickens? Yeah. I don't know. Can we cook? Oh, I like it that it turns into oven mitts. Right. That's cool. I'm Ooh, very... coffee. Give that to her. She yeah, wants I know, coffee. I know. I know. She's going to be so happy with us. Um... I mean, you. It's fine. Jeff, I think you're a little too thirsty. No? <laughs> She's going to be just... like, have you been playing with Jeff? <laughs> this coffee tastes a little desperate. <laughs> It's Listen, Kim, this is a song I found. Jeff, you can you can if you're here, you can there. hang out too and listen to this song I found by one James Buffett. I'm gonna just read the lyrics and I want you to guess what the song is called. I don't smoke, I don't shoot smack, but I got a spicy monkey riding on my back. What? Don't eat beignets, too much sugar and dough. But I will play for gumbo. Yes. I will play for gumbo. Is it gambling? G gambling for snacks? No, hold up, no, no, Jeff. Before you get two hundred IQ, Kim, do you want to hazard a guess? I would say gumbo. Close. Let me read you another another verse. It started at my grandma's kitchen by the sea. She warned me and she told me, "Son, the first one's free." It hit me like a rock, or some taekwondo, because I will play for gumbo. Is it oh, gambling yeah. for gumbo? I play for will gumbo? play for gumbo. Yes, it's play called I gumbo. will play for gumbo. <laughs> I was close, and can no, you no, finish it on, off? hold on, hold on. <laughs> A piece of French bread with which to wipe my bowl. What the fuck is all of his songs with food? <laughs> I think he smokes a lot of reefer. All of his songs are about fucking... There's a song he's got called Domino College, and if that's not about eating pizzas, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Oh man! It, what's oh, he, I don't what even know what he looks like off the top of my head. I know he I've looks, seen him. I have an uncle that looks exactly like him. I was gonna he say looks like, he looks like my uncle, but I figured probably maybe you don't know. Jimmy Buffett. He's seventy-four oh, years old. Oh, your uncle Jimmy? No, wait a minute. My Hold uncle, on, <laughs> Dana. You, have we never I think pieced this Dana, together. The very blonde one, uh, Jennifer's uh, dad. Did oh you know, yeah, I think I have met him actually. Hey, Technically, he was, he's my cousin. Did you know that Jimmy Buffett was born on Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was born. Christmas 1946. Yeah. God, he's a year older than one of my in laws. Um, he's also been in movies. Really? Yeah. Come on. The, the Beach Bum, Hoot, Cobb, Rancho Deluxe, all movies that we know, obviously. Oh, he was in Rancho Deluxe? What, did, he, did he also do Rancho Deluxe 2? No, no, they didn't want to bring him back, but they, did, they found someone who was very similar looking to him. They couldn't was it my it. cousin Dana? <laughs> yes, it was your cousin Dana. <laughs> oh, do you remember? He was in Jurassic World. <laughs> Bringing it all back to Jurassic Park. <laughs> <sighs> uh, never ends. <laughs> this is fucking Repo life, Repo. am I right? Repo Man, he was in Congo. Wait a minute, he was in Congo. No. He was in Congo. Is what? He was in the he was in the ape suit. You're uh, lying. No, who was he in Congo? That's kind of, that's kind of like when they say Daniel Craig was a stormtrooper. He was Amy. He was he was the the, the ape that fell in love with. Uh, with Dylan Walsh. Uh, let's see. Okay, she listen. It's been about 
at least it's like been 43 minutes. Oh, he's well, a pilot. Well, that too. But also it's been about like 16 or 17 years, right? Since. Was Congo good? No, I don't uh, think so. I, it's, it's entertaining. I would say that. I think I'm going to type in was Congo good it's, and see what I get. I don't think it's a good movie because I think that it couldn't decide if it wanted to be funny or if it wanted to be like a horror movie. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty wild. Tim Curry has the most confounding accent. Yeah, in that what movie. is that accent? I don't know. He's like a like a Ukrainian kind of. No, but like, what what is his country of origin? Tim Curry's or the characters? Tim Curry. Tim. Well, that's not his real. So listen, <laughs> we, we we've all said that we we've said a lot of things on this, and we say that Congo isn't a good movie. But I'm just going to say to you one sentence as a response to the question, what is the movie Congo about? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I remember asking that a, val- oh. a valid response to say, well, the movie Congo is about how Laura Lin- Linney shoots a bunch of monster gorillas with a laser gun. Yeah, we're using, a, <laughs> using a diamond. Using a diamond as yeah. power. Oh. Yeah. With, with, and they found it with the help of another gorilla that knows sign language and what, has no, robot she hands. She needs a private p- place on the boat? God. Cam, come on, she's a snake. And she's your teacher possibly or she's just <laughs> scamming you <laughs> you know what jeff in this review i'm reading it actually says there's no reason for tim curry to have this accent yeah <laughs> lo and behold <laughs> there it is <laughs> wow because well, he's played funny but like no one else is trying to be that funny it's really just oh, tim he's I like the comic stuff. relief well there's a, well there's some parts of that movie that were very funny like the sesame cake where the dude was like stop eating my sesame cake yeah but that was also a tim curry scene well he's amazing i know no i'm not saying he's oh he he elevates he he, he, I'm the, sure the he film. told. I'm sure that day he went on set and he was like, "Hey, Steve." Ooh, that's what he calls Steven Spielberg, it. who I'm not sure if actually di- uh, actually directed this. Film, no, Frank Marshall we directed it. Well, he told Steve anyway. He was like, "Listen, I'm I'm gonna be eating the sesame cake. <laughs> have the other guy tell me to stop, and, and have, have him be forceful about it. I got something for this." And he just spits the cake out, <laughs> and that's the best scene in the movie. It's got uh, yeah, it's got it's got Ghostbusters man. It's got Ernie Hudson in it. Oh, got God, Ernie Hudson. Ghostbusters, man. Yeah, <laughs> Ernie Hudson's there. He's cool. Ernie there's Hudson's part, in it. There's a part where he gets really excited because Laura Linney has a tiny, a tiny little air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, Laura Linney's in it, playing pretty straight. Laura Linney is. A, oh, you know who else is in it? Is fucking Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah, he's there at what? the start. Yeah, he shows up. Oh, she won't eat shellfish. She can suck my nards. Kim, look at her accommodations. Does she look like somebody who's just going to take shellfish? Like, come on. I thought she would be. No, Kim, you don't know your guests at all. They're an awful host. The snake is vegan. They're they're bucking trends, Kim. They're 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 subverting your expectations for they them. They are. I love I love Congo. Danielle and I both love Congo. Really? Yeah, Congo I, didn't, a... I can't believe you have an opinion on Congo. <laughs> That's weird. It's a movie, movie I've seen a bunch. It's like a movie that would show when you get that free weekend of like Showtime back in like the the, the nineties or the early aughts. Con- that's it's a movie Congo that Congo has the vibe of one of those movies that's like a sci fi original. Crocomancer, a- <laughs> and it's about like a crocodile wizard or some shit. Like that's what Congo is, but like for some reason they tried really fucking hard. It's got a little bit of Atlantis, the Disney film, that type of vibe where they're going on an adventure and they have oh, to take some sort it. of scientist or Titan AE. Yeah, or Titan AE, a movie that I know about but didn't watch because the CGI looked kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't that good. Well, it was good for the time. Give him a it break. Was, it was good at the time. Yeah. Plot keywords, movie flop, lost city, gorilla, diamond, talking gorilla. <laughs> Wait, let me see this more. Hero, tough girl, tough guy, American, brutality, massacre, extreme brutality. What? What movie was this? <laughs> this is Congo. Oh, my God. I need to, apparently, I need to watch Congo again. You know what? I think I'm confusing Congo with that movie about the woman, Jodie Foster, who lived with the gorillas. You mean um, Jane the Virgin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was yeah. so Jane, lame. Jane, Jane Goodall the Virgin. <laughs> Jane Goodall the Virgin. Well, no, she gets killed at the end. I don't think <laughs> so Jane. That's what happened to Jane the Virgin? Yeah, I don't think Jane Goodall the Virgin died at the end. Of, I don't think. She, yeah. <laughs> 
I think she might still be alive and a virgin. She is alive and definitely a virgin. <laughs> She gave birth on, she, on uh, December 25th to one James Buffett. <laughs> Who we know from Jurassic World. That's oh right. Oh, my God. It all comes back to Jurassic World. <laughs> oh, man. Can we? I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're good. I think what? we. But I'm going to harvest think... this uh, stuff. We, Kim, we did a lot of comedy Let today. It... I... <laughs> oh, you need that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We've done a lot of comedy today. I think the world's going to survive another, the rest of this Wednesday without us. I think we did a good job. It is uh, Wednesday. Today is the big day. Yeah, today's the big day. Which hey, this is everybody, <laughs> I know things are a little tough right now, but uh, it is Wednesday. I'm I've been getting really into into like uh, coffee lately. I think I'm gonna have to start getting into margaritas too. Oh so, yeah. So, uh, Jim Jimmy has it figured out. He's seventy six. You know you know what I did? He today? made it that long living a life of just fucking drinking margaritas, eating cheeseburgers, and singing and banging people. Yeah, he did a so lot of like, drugs. I am a thousand percent sure as well. Yeah, I'm jealous of Jimmy Buffett for so many reasons. Yeah. Uh oh, I didn't. I didn't, there, didn't let it cook. Uh, and they're just he, fish again. <laughs> <laughs> I turned these fish into fish. You're welcome. Uh, le- let's be done. Bye, All everybody. Right. Thank oh, okay. you for joining us at Spirit Fair. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to keep playing this, you guys. So, (laughs) bye. Bye. (laughs)